One year back, I was in Klang, a port city in Malaysia. I was doing a survey and I met several Bangladeshi migrant workers there. My question was, how often do you go to doctors for your health care service? One of them said, I don't go to doctor because I don't understand his language. Then other one, I said, why don't you go? He said, it is expensive. There were some more people who said, I don't go to doctor because we don't have any document. Ladies and gentlemen, there are about 7 million migrant workers in Malaysia. Out of them, two thirds don't have any documentation. But the interesting part is that they have so more than 80% have smartphones and 90% of them use internet for social media. So that's an enabling factor. And their spending habit is very encouraging. They use around 100 to 300 ringgit per month. And they meet at a channel where they use actually uh, do the remittance for their home and also purchase top up and all that. So it gives us an enabling factor to develop a platform where they can actually talk to their native doctor and have the health solution. So we have introduced this platform using the smartphone which they are already having. It's easy and simple and it saves time and cost for them. So in the whole value chain, it is not like the traditional telemedicine platform. We have introduced two big players here. One is sales agent and the other is call center agent. So there is actually a digital inclusion, an inclusive inclusion in the whole value chain. Uh, the market size is big. We can be as much bigger as the world is. So that is a different question, how we want to tap the market. Uh, the product is very simple. And if you look at this uh, total value chain, everyone speaks the same language. So you feel at home, Kampunka. So this is the team. And in the business model, also very simple. We have two products. One is 10 ringgit, another is 35. So we get money from the patient service. And we are doing now a lot of market adoption because this requires a lot of uh, creating awareness in the community because the technology is there, but they don't know how to use it. So the main challenge is here to create awareness for this community. So we are doing that and we want to make a digital society using whatever technology they have. Thank you all. Thank you very much. We have now right at the Q&A session. The questions from the judges will begin now. Hey, uh, great model. I'm just trying to get a sense on numbers again. 10 ringgit per person, and you have sales agent and doctors, two big expenses. How much of 10 ringgit will go to sales agent and how much will go to doctor? Actually, from the 10 ringgit, we are giving them 20%, two ringgit, and uh, five ringgit to the doctor. Because this product is basically targeted for the undocumented people. Mm. And we are targeting the preventive care rather than giving them prescription. Because they are not legal, so we, we cannot issue any prescription which they can carry to pharmacy or any clinic. So we are giving them a, an advice sort of thing mm. so that they understand what the problem is. So that is the uh, barrier they have now. So we have seen that they don't go to hospital or clinic until they have a serious problem. So at least we can prevent them from actually having those problems. Okay. Okay. But um, following that, that, that point, do they, I mean, because they are one of the uh, quite um, the underprivileged, right? persons, most of the people that you try to focus on, but um, then uh, most of the time when they, when they start to see the symptoms, it's already serious. So how, how do you promote, how do you penetrate the market to get them on board? What are, what are your strategies? Can you elaborate on that? Uh, well, uh, actually, as I said, the creating awareness is a big, a big issue. And mm -hmm. what we are doing, actually, we are going to different uh, concentrated areas, like I'm from Bangladesh. And there are a lot of Bangladeshi workers in Malaysia. Mm -hmm. And you know, there are a lot of uh, shops around in Bang Bangladeshi shops around in Malaysia. Mm -hmm. So we are targeting those shops where they actually concentrate. So we are already during the Ramadan month, we had a lot of events, BTL type events with below the line events. 
where we actually uh, demonstrated the product and also created uh, awareness through the uh, physical doctors taking them there. So they were using our smartphone and our uh, application and talking to the doctors directly there also. So they understand what is the actual benefit out of it. So your fees are cheap and you have to pay doctors and commission for sales agents. Um, how are you going to sustain the company? Uh, it's, it's the volume. It's the volume actually is going to play the, uh, a big uh, impact because uh, if you look at the 7 million uh, migrant workers and if we have a little bit of share from that uh, whole pie, uh, it's going to uh, break even at certain point of time. But it's going to take time, but the volume is the, actually the key uh, factor. Can I just follow up that if you want that type of volume, how are you going to find the doctors? Yeah, yeah that's a challenge, but we have already uh, talked with Ministry of Health and we are actually introducing a multiple conferencing uh, uh, technology where actually the local doctor will be there but the interpreting doctor will be from Bangladesh. So it can be for any language speaking country like from Thailand, from Myanmar, from Nepal, so we can solve that problem. So uh, follow up that, that point, have you deal with it, any regulatories, I mean, of, um, regulatory leaks that uh, you have to face because uh, online healthcare and also telemedicine, they are facing some of this problem in, I mean, country by country, different regulations apply. Yeah, they are obviously, you are very correct. There are a lot of regulatory issues we have to address and as of Malaysia, they have Telemedicine Act 1997 and we are following that and we are in touch with Ministry of Health where they are actually, they were excited to have this type of, uh, you know, innovative idea from us and because previously they were not able to reach this segment, uh, even they have, uh, you know, uh, other agencies going there, but so they said that we can use our technology to provide preventive care and also use the multiple con conference to address this issue. So in some way we are trying to you know, uh, tie up with Ministry of Health and other agencies as well, like uh, IOM, in, in, uh, International Organization of Migrants, ILO and uh, World Health Organization so that we can take it forward. A quick question then, uh, if, if you have such a frugal model, why do you need 40 sales agent to start with? Because your more focus should be in really solving or building a value if you want to build a volume. But it seems like you have 40 sales agent. I'm kind of trying to get the maths. Uh, I think the time is over. We can talk offline sure. on that if it is possible. <laughs>